right, so here's another question from Connor Allen, and it's about sound signatures. And he says different types of sound signatures and different speaker headphones that fit that sound signature. I think what he's talking about is what do you think of you know speakers or headphones that don't measure flat that they have a color ratio oh, oh. And, you know okay what's your thoughts um originally you know from the music producer side of things when i'm looking for studio monitors that needs to be flat okay right because i need to make changes on where things are panned what's you know going up or down like you know i'll send my song to my mastering engineer and he'll be like hey can you he'll listen to it and be like hey can you get the clap out of the center i need the kick to breathe mm. right or and or uh take the lead synth down three decibels you know those kinds of things and be like okay and i'll do those things so the idea of a flat response speaker is that whatever you create on those should translate well to everything else whether it's radio um, iTunes compression, you know, or whatever, right? Now, when you have, uh, like, I don't feel that coloration is a bad thing if you're listening to music reproduction, but music production is a different story, mm. right? I like to have it flat. You know, depending on where you are, what size of the speaker um, that you're reproducing the whatever previously made content on should work with that speaker's capabilities and the room it's in. So I think that kind of plays a lot into coloration. So if you have something that's bass heavy mm. in a somewhat medium to large room, it might work, you know, because it boosts the bass in a certain, you know, frequency. Um, whereas if, if it's very close, mm. if you're like three or four feet away, maybe you want something flatter, yeah. right? Because it's coming directly at you kind of thing so you wouldn't want a ba boost a bass and you wouldn't want a boost in the bass or in the highs you know what i mean you know i thought it would be a cool idea is what if speaker companies came out with with like speakers that had different sound signatures and they told you straight up like this one's a little bit bass heavy this one has a treble that's rolled off this one is flat and even like they can make speakers that are specific for certain types of rooms like is your room really re reflective these are the speakers that are more appropriate well, for your room. Right. So That might be cool. You know, that, they idea. actually do that in studio monitors. So on the back of my studio monitors, yeah. there are switches to to up the ba uh, bass or the treble depending on your room. Mm -hmm. Now, if you keep it flat and you've, like, you know, treated your room properly, then you shouldn't need to, ba you know, boost right. anything. You know, keep it flat. But, yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess it just, it really, Joe, it really just depends on what you hear. And that's the biggest thing in all of this. It's subjective, right? Um, you can either hear a lot or not, not so much.